Cavalry FC hosting the Halifax Wanderers as both of these clubs begin the second half of their season, meeting for the third time and looking to push forward in the Canadian Premier League table. Heavy rotation for Tommy Wielden Jr. as Ali Moussi has picked up a knock to his ankle. For the Halifax Wanderers, just three changes to their team. They play this 4-4-1-1. They'll also move into a 3-5-2, which you would expect to see a fair bit of today as well. The Quite a bit of possession. They're going to have their little spells where they're going to be on the front foot. And you've just got to deal with it. Two fists to it from Jan Filion straight into the air. Make sure you don't concede. Weather the, the storm that's coming. And then make sure that you get back into your own rhythm. Great looking ball from Fisk. It goes off Shaw now Smith Doyle. If he kept it down, it's easily in the net. Shaw does really well. There goes Bevan and Camargo sprints into the box. Three red shirts are there. Now it's in from Aird. Second time inside the six yard box. This time it's Ben Fisk who skies it. Switched back to left. Daniels with a head of steam. Aiden Daniels, now he shoots and puts it off the post. Aiden Daniels off the woodwork. A warning shot from Halifax. And now Cavalry counter. It's Camargo from Bevan. Fillion gets down. Dan Nimick heads it wide. An eruption of activity just as the clock strikes 30. Now Fisk. Ben Fisk off the post as well. 90 seconds of mayhem. Both ends of the park. How are we scoreless? What an incredible minute and a half of football we just saw there. Aiden Daniels coming inside. Nobody stepping to him. Tries to bend in the far post. But Halifax is so opened up that there's room for Calvary to break on the counter. And Camargo. Yes, Monway receives. Deflects it back out wide. Farron comes to collect. Massimo Farron in for Utzel returns. Farron's cross. Here's Watson denied by Carducci. And then Watson sails the second effort wide. Absolutely stunning football from the Halifax Wanderers just lacking the finish. Nice off ball movement from Daniels. Gives himself a lane. Held up, Farron turns. Now he strikes and just past the outstretched fingertips of Marco Carducci. Daniels the short option for Caligari, who has eyes towards Marco Carducci's goal. Picks out Timoteo. Now the cross comes in. Carducci fast off his line to punch it free. Pouncing on the loose ball, Giraldo, but sends that swerving well into the supporters on the hill behind goal. Here's Farron. Cobbs of the man he's trying to beat. Cuts to the middle, Giraldo goes wide. This is Caligari. Lorenzo Caligari, they set, sit off of him. Ambitious attempt to say the least. Klopp and Cobbs originating the possession again. Fisk unable to complete his pass, but Timoteo loses his footing. It's Fisk again now, a right winger over the heads of both Ethan Beckford and Dan Nimick. And then he takes a bump, was looking for his third foul one. This time, referee feeling, feeling lenient towards the Wanderers. Cobbs a, a hard challenge. And it's Cavalry in possession back the other way. Outside to Aird. Crossed in, Tigney chests it down, blocked by Campania, and sent into the seats. Farron. Morelli around mile on Ree. Still Morelli, short pass on his right. Locates Farron, lost it in his feet. Back to Morelli in return, Massimo Farron. He caught that pretty well, considering he had no idea where the ball was. You know Halifax, and the week the travel they've had, they'd be fine with the point. They'd be disappointed in anything else. Cavalry desperate for the full three after losing earlier this week. It's Fisk. Up goes Beckford, bounces around, and it's in! Cavalry in stoppage time! 
My lover is going to celebrate. It was an absolute sea of humanity in front of Jan Filion, who was absolutely distraught inside his six yard box. Daly and Henri celebrate. Fisk is still down after getting mobbed by his teammate. They might have accidentally hurt him, but without him, Jimmy, there's no goal. Look at this ball whipped in perfect height. That's an own goal off Nimic. That's an own goal, but. And the Cavs hang on. It takes stoppage time heroics from Ben Fisk and a little bit of help from Dan Nimic. But Cavalry do bounce back from their 2 0 defeat and win this match by a goal to nil and go second in the Canadian Premier League table.